Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Yeah, it's winter and I'm back sitting in here trying to keep warm. Got some stuff I needed to do and one of them was have a look at this knife. Never heard of these guys before and I thought I'd have a look. What I was doing was having a look at what's out there as far as a sod buster. I'm a big sod buster fan. I like a single blade holder needs to be single blade for me because I think it for me it just works better. Having multiple blades is great and I like looking at all them different multiple blades and what they say the uses are for. But me, I don't like choices. <laughs> Give me a good single blade and we're good to go. While doing this, I came across a company called Roper Knives. Yeah, Roper Knives. Hadn't heard of them before. So, had a look at them, and what did you know? They have a sod buster, I think. They actually call it the tumbleweed, I think. Let's check it out. So here it is here, and you can see it's a rope and eyes. Nice little box, cover box on it. Here's the interesting thing, it's got the roper label, and then it says ABKT. And then it says Roper Knives 1065 Carbon Steel Blades. Interesting. Let's look at it. Let me get out of the box here for you. And what I'm talking about is this guy here. Yeah, look at that. It is. It's a mini sod buster. They call it the Tumbleweed. Or is it the Sod Buster Junior? I'm not quite sure because I'm a little confused. But here it is here. And it's nice, plain, white bone handle. And, you know, looking at, it's pretty clean. Good looking handle on it. Nice and smooth. No sharp edges. Liners look okay. They look okay. I assume brass liners. And they have your three pins there, there, there. And, of course, your big pivot pin here. And let's have a look at the blade. You can see it there. Yep. It's a sod buster. Just a teeny weeny sod buster. Well, not really teeny weeny. A little bit smaller than your regular sod buster. Not bad at all. Look at that knife. And on the blade it says carbon. And then there's a number. I can't quite read it. See that? And then on the other side it says Roper 1247. 1065 carbon steel. What's that about? Going to have to look that up. We'll get into that. But a nice knife. Fairly straightforward. It has an L neck in it. And it is a lockback. So, and it it doesn't snap in, but it goes in there pretty good. It's not going to flop around. When you open it, it does snap in nice and tight. And that is solid. It's not moving an inch. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at it. How does the blade sit? Well, a little off center. But hey, it's a sod buster with a white bone handle. And it's a junior. Or is it tumbleweed? Huh. There it is there, whichever it is. It sits in my hand nice. I'm wide grubby, so I'm not surprised. It is a junior. I'm not going to be doing that heavy work with a junior. This is a nice carry in your pocket knife. Not bad at all. Kind of like the look of it. Let's have a look at some of the dimensions. Closed, 3.75 inches. Not a giant, that's for sure. But I've got to say, well, you can't call a sod buster cute. No such thing. Sod busters are working class. I, I do like this. The more I look at this, I like this handle. It's just white bone. The blade length, which I assume tip to choil, I assume... Three inches. Not bad. So check that out. Huh. Now that I measure it, they're saying three inches from there to the handle. That's interesting. I always thought that the measurement was made to the choil because that's the part you're having to deal with. The handle is a three and a half inch white bone handle. Very nice. I like it. So, well, typical, I suppose, for a sod buster, which is why I like them. I do like the yellow ones, though, just because... Working knife, dangerous, yellow, be careful. <laughs> but this doesn't have to be a working one. This is one you can carry anywhere if you're a sod buster fan and that's what you like to carry. It doesn't quite look worky. 
It looks every day. EDC in your pocket. They don't say what the blade is. And I'm going to say drop point. It's got that drop off here and it does have a nail neck. And that 1065 carbon steel. What is that all about? Well, this is what I found out. So 1065 carbon steel. A Rockwell hardness of 58 to 60. That's pretty high and not bad. I mean, I'm looking at this blade and it, it looks nice. It has, you know, that full grind, which is slightly concave. If you look at that edge, let's see if I can catch it for you. It's pretty consistent on that side. How's it on this side? Look at that. That's not bad. Not bad at all. What that tells me with that kind of HRC rating, that it's going to have a good edge retention on it. So it would have good hardness and, re and uh, edge retention. It's a good balance. It's probably not uh, good in any of them, but overall combined, it gives you that great balance to the type of steel you're using. Never really thought about 1065. I think I've seen it mentioned maybe once or twice, but apparently Roper knives do that on all their blades. Who would have thunk? Roper knives. Who is Roper knives? Well, they the guys that make this. They say it's the Tumbleweed Junior Tactical EDC. That's what they call it. Then I looked some more. And Roper Knives is actually owned by Buffalo Knife and Tool. Remember that box? I'm looking at here and it says ABKT. See that? American Buffalo Knife and Tool. That's who owns Roper Knives. Well, I went to their website because I wanted to see who they were. And they have it there. And what do they call it? Well, the Mini Sodbuster with white bone handle. The model number's the same. Huh, what do you say to that? It's getting pretty confusing out there as to who owns what and who makes what and where they make it. And what's the model number? And which is correct? You know what? It's the Tumbleweed Junior, I think. What's oh, a Sodbuster. I like both names. Do I care? Kind of like the Tumbleweed Junior. That sounds pretty cool. American Buffalo Knife and Tool warranted their products for life for workmanship manufacturing defaults. Now, I know what you're going to say. Where's it made? Yeah, it's in China. Is that a problem? Like I said before, not for me, it's not. Say hello to Mary. She's wandering around, making sure I'm doing things right and being safe. That's her job. So there you have it there. Very nice. I, I, I like it. Is it sharp? Got me some paper. I was prepared this time. Huh. Huh. Whoops. There we go. Can we make it twirly whirly? Nope. Huh. You know, I looked at that blade and I didn't see anything wrong with it. I wonder why it's doing that. Operator error. Yeah, let's try it again. Huh. Fire the operator. Let's go slow. Huh. Cut there. Cut there. Cut there. Cut there. Cut there. I think it needs to be stropped. I am saying that a lot lately, and I think that what needs to be done. When I get a knife, I need to strop it no matter what. And I'm looking at the blade, and I can't really see anything wrong with it. It looks okay, but my eyes? <laughs> ah, well, what do you do? You cut a piece of paper with it, and if it works, you say it's good. Wait, I have a piece of wood. It's a giant piece, like the Sodbuster Junior Tumbleweed. Yeah, will it cut? Look at that. Works for me. Huh, look at that. This must be a working knife. Oh, that's right, it's a Sodbuster. A junior. <laughs> I like it. I really like this knife. You know what? I think this might just turn out to be a Christmas present for somebody. Roper knives. Tumbleweed. Tactical EDC. Or American Buffalo Knife and Tool. Sodbuster Junior. You pick it, you got it. <laughs> I do like it. Can't say enough about a, so a Sodbuster. One of my favorite knives. What can I tell you? And how much did I pay for it? That much. Once again, not going to break the bank. And I didn't even know about these guys. I think I'm going to look at them some more. Finding all these different manufacturers. You guys are laughing at me now because you're going, huh, George hasn't been out of the 
cottage enough. I do like a sword buster. It is my favorite style of knife. For a folder, I like a single blade folder. And the sword buster, to me, is the ultimate working EDC. This might be a little small. I do like Barlow's though, but it needs to have a single blade. I'm just not getting pleased today. What can I say? Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again with another one. You know, sharp and shiny. One of these guys. I'll be digging some more into some other companies I haven't seen before. Spreading my wings and all. Look at me. You all be safe out there, especially with them juniors. Just saying. Thanks for watching, and you all take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.